Dumb things boyfriends do. Can I see a picture of your girlfriend, sweetie? I heard she's just beautiful. Sure, yeah, let me find a good one. He goes through his phone, and there's a bunch of the pictures that I took that I thought that no one would ever see. The old double chin angle, the old check out the bottom of my nose, the old I'm gonna be kind of angry this time. Oh, me giving the middle finger as well. I thought no one would see it. I thought that your phone was a private place. And then he goes, oh, sorry, my phone just died. And grandma's like, shame. Well, I really did think she was pretty, but I guess not. I have trust issues whenever someone says, especially a guy, says, I showed a picture of you to people because I talk about you so much. I'm always like, which one? Which one did you show them? And it's always one that is so bad. In their defense, a lot of the pictures I take are so bad, but like, you could at least like, go on my Instagram or something. Well, Pam, I burst in the door. Can you just put your stuff away just once? Can you stop complaining for two seconds? And then we go to bed. I'm angry. He's angry. But we're still holding hands because we know that we love each other so much that we can't break up. But we're super mad at each other, okay? Although this is more me. I'm like more the messy one. But I am the one wearing the tool shirt with my hair on top of my head. I definitely. And Terry's definitely got the stubble. But his uh, stubble's a little bigger than this stubble. Yeah, it's just a, just a touch bigger. Super hot day. Ugh, it's so hot. So hot. I was sweating everywhere. I miss you. We haven't cuddled in ages, sweetie. I miss you too. I'll reach to you, but we can't hold hands because it's too hot. <sighs> Good night. Sleep well. Although, if it was a really hot day, I wouldn't be able to even hold hands. Oh yeah, they're, they're just touching fingers. When it's a really super hot day, I can't hold hands with people because like, if your wrists are like really hot and like your neck, it just makes you a lot hotter. So I can't, it's gotta be a little doink. This is the best I can do on a summer's day. Stop, that's like hot. Why are your hands so hot? Boyfriend's really sick, okay? He's like, <sighs> Oh, oh, I can't handle my life right now. And I'm like, I'm invincible, okay? So kiss me, okay? It's gonna be fine. No, I, I really want to, but I don't want to get you sick. I don't care. Poke, poke, come on, let's go. He finally does it. He finally caves. I think that if he gets sick around me, then we both must have been exposed to it. And there's no way that I'm gonna get sick. I'm immune, right? But that's never the way it works out. Are you happy? <laughs> Oh god, no, I'm not happy at all. Why does there always have to be one clumsy character? There's nothing cute about being clumsy. Why are they glorifying being clumsy? My clumsiness is not your movie scene. She throws up the popcorn in the air and smack! Ow, ow, aw, oh. aw, oh, babe, are you okay? No, I'm fine. I mean, it's kind of cute, but like, really? I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think that the part of it that's me is like how much she just complains about everything. Like, I like to go on tangents about absolutely everything. And he likes to just sit there and be like, are you okay? Are you good? And I'm like, I'm fine, okay? But let me tell you what I hate about this other thing. People on social media Photoshop everything. I'm so glad that I have you, babe. Oh, thanks, time to use a makeup wipe. Take away all those filters, and what do you get? Well, let's see. Ah! I'm sure it's not that bad. I, I think the worst part about using a makeup wipe is that it really does smear stuff everywhere. Like these aren't moles, these are like the little the little mascara bits that are everywhere. Are you still impressed, boy? Are you still impressed now? Did you have a bad night's sleep again, honey? You look real tired. Yeah, I'm gonna get a sleeping mask. She's wearing the ugliest sleeping mask in the history of mankind. And the next day he's tired because he didn't sleep because he's so terrified. And she's like, I slept great and I look great. And I'm so glad that I had the anti-aging in that mask. <laughs> These danishes are sweeter than I remember. I feel the same way every time I see you. And he's like, oh. I think something we don't realize about guys is how much they love compliments because they never get them. I'd say that the amount of compliments that I get is like out to here and the amount that my boyfriend gets is like, it's like this, it's tiny. Is it like awkward to compliment guys? We should do it more. Terry, you look, you look great today. Oh, thanks babe. That really cheered me up. <laughs> oh, thanks babe. Love that. Thanks, babe. Did you actually appreciate that? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot to me when I get compliments, too. Aw, how cute. Girls aren't the only ones. Yeah, they are. You didn't feel that. Want to go to the store? Sure, one sec. What? You're gonna fart? Why do you always think I'm so gross? I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate when you fart. I literally... It's so easy to just go into the other room where I'm not. That's not the kitchen because that's gross. 
and fart. <laughs> like, you don't have to do it around me. It's so much less impressive if no one's around. <laughs> <laughs> what if you blow the biggest fart you've ever blown? and no one was there to hear it. Even if it was a Guinness Book of World Records fart, I didn't want to hear it. I have an idea, from now on, just record it on your phone and then send it to all the guys and don't send it to me. Terry and I have been together for eight years and I still, I'm still not over it. I hate when he farts around me. I don't think it's funny. I mean, it is kind of funny, but I don't like it. I just don't like breathing air where that happened. And I know what happens in the bathroom. I know that, but I like to pretend that it doesn't. She's chilling, okay? She's eating chips. As people do. Oh my God, your hand! Who did this to you? The makeup store. Oh. Yeah, they're just swatches. I know they look like horrible bruises, but they're just swatches. They're just some purpley mauve red bruise looking swatches. And if I were to mix them together, it really would look like a bruise, but you should be able to tell. If you were an animal, what do you think you'd be? Well, I guess that like a lion or any other strong, fierce predator. Yeah, sure. I picture you being a lemur or a bobcat or a turtle or a mouse. I picture you being a weasel, actually. I think weasel is exactly your animal. Oh, these are do's and don'ts, okay? This is the don't. Let's have dinner together. I can't, I need to iron your shirts. Why is that a don't? Okay, this is the do. I had a difficult week. I need to get some rest. Please do. It's my turn to cook dinner tonight anyway. You shouldn't have to do all the cooking by yourself. I love you and I love to cook and my cooking sucks compared to yours, but I'm gonna do it and you're gonna eat it and you might throw up. I mean, I feel like no matter how tired I am, it's really like not that hard to cook and I'd rather like eat my food than his food. Come on! <laughs> This is the don't. Let's call the doctor if you're feeling really bad. I read on the internet, I'll be okay soon. What internet did you use? Because every time I go on WebMD, it's like you, you, Tombstone, together, you guys are gonna get along for an eternity. So he read on the internet, he thinks he's gonna be okay soon. That's the don't. And she's like, okay, yeah, I believe you, that's fine. But the do is, let's call the doctor, I insist. And he's like, okay, I mean, it's just a flu, but that's fine. And I'm like, 911, call the ER. I guess it helps to be safe and use all of our Canadian taxpayer healthcare dollars. Don't. I bought new cool wheels for my car. Check out those rims. But we were supposed to save money for our vacation. That's the don't. Here's the do. Why are you not buying new wheels? Why aren't you buying those sweet rims you wanted? <sighs> we're saving money for the vacation to make my girlfriend happy. This is the do. And I have to make sacrifices. I mean, if you really wanted, if you really wanted those new rims. Sometimes I like stuff better than I like vacations. I'd much rather like eat out at every restaurant in town and like have a bunch of new cute clothes than like pay for a flight and go to the airport and be really upset about it and fly there and then stay in a hotel that's like kind of uncomfortable and then, I don't know, go do touristy stuff, like look at a museum. I mean, museums are cute, but like not as cute as being at home. Okay, this is the worst. Terry, get over here. This is the worst and you have to, you gotta take notes because this is the worst. So he's chilling there. He's going, <laughs> ah, don't. Okay, first of all, it tickles. I hate it. He's squishing her little back rolls like these. He's squishing those. Ah, don't, stop it. Oh. He's having a field day. He's, I mean, I know that like squishy things are fun to squish, but no squishing. Squish, 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 squish. Stop it! And he just says, oh. I don't know why, but it like, it makes me feel bad, okay? Especially after we like eat a big meal and then you start doing that. I just hate it. I like the squish sound. There is no squish sound. <laughs> there better not be. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Help, look at it. Ah! And then he actually looks at it and it's the tiniest little, it's the tiniest little cut ever. But hey, sometimes it's the littlest cuts that hurt the most. You ever think about that, huh? I've got the tiniest, tiniest little blister on my foot and it hurts so bad that I had to sleep in my bed with my foot hanging off of the bed. I woke up with a painful back because like, like that little skin piece that's like flicking off to like catch on to stuff. It's like gross, but it's just how I feel right now. It's, I'm just really going through it right now. Getting him in the mood. How do you do it, huh? Well, this is what some girls do. Waka, waka, wow. That's what some girls do. What I do is I like to do the old roll over while he's trying to sleep and sniff him. I don't know why. Every guy has like that smell, you know? Every guy has that like intoxicating smell 
that I feel maybe to other guys like smells bad, but like, I'm like, my brain is wired a certain way where I think it smells good. Androgens? Pheromones. Pheromones. Androgens. Yeah, pheromones. They, they smell good, okay? They smell good. I like them. Do you like them? Leave me a comment. Do you like pheromones? Because I, I certainly do. Oh, this is what me and Terry were just doing. He's like, poke. And I'm like, poke. And he's like, tickle, tickle, tickle. And I'm like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I said, stop. And then see, this is how you get attacked. Stop it. Look at the comic. This is how you get attacked. You can't do that. No, but I can punch really hard. I can break boards, OK? I did martial arts. What other boyfriends do when they see their girlfriend sleeping? Oh. Oh, sweetie, let me put a blanket on you, huh? Let, let me put a blanket on you. Good night, love you. What my boyfriend does when he sees me sleeping, and he's like, dang it, come on! And he's trying to like put a bunch of soda cans and draws in her, what is he, a college frat boy? I mean, just stop dating frat boys, problem solved. Who does that? Ew, I like, ew, ugh. I feel like he wouldn't do that unironically. And if he did, he would be like, huh, huh, I saw this in the movies one time and like, it's super cool. It's an intense moment and I'm like, bang! Help! And he's like, oh, oh god, oh god, I gotta run, I gotta run for my computer chair, what's wrong? I need toilet paper. Sometimes you have to scream, like you've never screamed before, so he thinks it's really serious, and then when he already is there, then you ask for toilet paper. Because you can't just like call him when he's busy and say, I need toilet paper, because he'll be like, you get it yourself. You gotta make it seem urgent, okay? Very urgent. I can't sleep, your screen's blinding me. Go to sleep or turn around or something. She eggs him on. She flips over and holds the screen in his face and laughs. I mean, that's like, that's some evil, that's evil. I wouldn't do that, but I do bring my phone to bed way too often. And Terry very often has to say, put that phone down, you're never gonna get to sleep. I think this is something that we regularly um, squabble about. So maybe I should like take notes as like, this is like a bad thing to do. Thank you, comic. My eyelashes, my boyfriend's eyelashes. Gee, thanks, they're natural though. Why do some guys have the longest eyelashes in the entire universe? It doesn't make any sense. And Terry is one of those guys. I think my eyelashes are like pretty long. Like, cause they, they, they are. And like with mascara, they're like twice as long, but like Terry's natural eyelashes are like huge. Can you even tell on camera? Not really, hey, but they're like, they're like straight. Mine are straight too, so like you can't tell when I'm not wearing makeup, but like Terry's eyelashes, if I curled them, they would be touching his eyebrows. They're long. And sometimes I wonder if it's because he's never worn mascara. Cause like, I don't want to wear mascara, but it's making my eyelashes short. Is it that time of the month, sweetie? Leave me alone before I eat you too. That's a mean stereotype and I hate it, but it's kind of true, but I still hate it. You know what I really hate? When I'm like really moody, and I think that it's for the right reasons. And then it turns out that I'm just PMSing. And then Terry's like, oh, I knew you were. And I'm like, oh, my feelings are valid, but it is true that I definitely, I definitely was that rude because I was PMSing, like 100, 100. How relatable. This is a do. I think I gained weight again. And I like your appetizing buns. And this is the don't. I think I gained weight again. I told you to visit the gym. <laughs> if your man is like dumb enough to do that, then I just like, I didn't know people that dumb existed. But you know, every day on this earth, sometimes you realize that like people this dumb do exist and you gotta, you gotta watch out for them. You gotta see the red flags, you just gotta run. All right, so do. Honey, I'll be home soon. I'm in the club and I'll walk home. So don't worry about me. No way, it's late. I'll come pick you up. It's dangerous walking home at night and you got that like nice purse and everything. I'll pick you up. Even though it's like super late. And this is what you don't do. Honey, I'll be home soon. I'm in the club. Don't worry, I'll just walk home. Why'd you wake me up with your call then, huh? I mean, I feel like this is a guy who doesn't care anymore. Cause a lot of guys like, they wanna know where you are. Even if they like can't come pick you up, like I feel like a good guy is like, oh, well, thanks for letting me know. Cool, I can sleep now. But this guy's just like, why didn't you just let me freaking sleep then, huh? I think if he says something like this, it's like proof he just, <laughs> he's done. He's checked out, he's over it. This is what you do. Have you missed me, my pumpkin? I mean, I'd be kind of weirded out if he said that to me, but sure, do that. Don't do, I'm tired after work and you're here with your lovey-dovey stuff again. Get off me! Again, this is a guy who doesn't care. This is the housewife who just loves him so much and he's just like tired, and he's angry, and <laughs> probably should, you know, leave him if you can. If your boyfriend is any of these things, then just throw him in the trash. Why are you doing all that lovey-dovey stuff, huh? Because <laughs> I love you. Well, 
not enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you ever want to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. And I will see ya. Oh man. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!